Alright, welcome back good people. This begins my final week of videoing with this series. 200 videos in 365 days and we're just in the first part of October. So needless to say I've been really really pushing this year and uh, I've actually uh, been rewarded already. I've been uh, able to benefit on several different fronts. I won't go into that right now because that's not what it's about. But it's also allowed me to grow in another way. You know, I'm able to structure things differently, faster, more effectively. I'm able to identify other things that I weren't, wasn't able to previously uh, see going in. And um, I've been able to help a lot of people along the way simply by creating these videos and allowing them to kind of view from time to time and, you know, make a determination, make some comments. And uh, speaking of comments, you guys go to uh, the comment section and leave some comments too because uh, that's the way this business is done, right? But I am so happy that this time has come <laughs> because... Just imagine now, I started this process January the 7th. This is October the 7th or something like that. And yeah, the 7th actually, maybe the 8th. But either way, <laughs> I've been going continuously all that time. So my question to you is, what have you been committed to three quarters of the year? Anything besides work? I'm not talking about work now. We have to go to work, right? But I'm talking about something that can take you away from work. Something that can allow you to create a different life and lifestyle for yourself. Because that's possible for everyone. Which is exactly why I do what I do. Because I want to kind of, if you will, be the example that all you have to do is just follow me. And you'll see the growth. You'll see the change. You'll see the different uh, transitions that I make in my system that could possibly help you and yours. Right? Because we all need a coach. We all need somebody that we can kind of follow and kind of pattern our system after until we're able to, you know, do everything creatively, creatively on our own. And hopefully uh, that's what I've been able to do with you guys during this uh, journey or this period in time. Because life is short, you know, and when you look back on life, uh, Time is our most valuable asset, and that is the one thing that you will have less and less of as you get older, right? Because when you're growing older, I always feel that you should be growing wiser as well. So how do you grow wiser? Do you just go through life? Or do you apply certain uh, things that you learn along the way? And not only apply those, but live to those standards, right? Because it's necessary that you uh, not just talk to talk. You have to kind of have to, you know, again, be the example. Kind of walk the walk. And uh, you'll be, if nothing else, able to say that you did things your way. Whether they were, you know, had the best results or not. That's, you know, that's up to you. Uh, success and failure, all that's part of the life process, right? You're not going to be successful at everything. You're not going to fail at everything. The thing that has to uh, take place is you have to learn from the things both successful and failure. Because at some point in life, our life will end. And when that time comes, that's all there is. The, the story ends, right? And you want to do as much as you can your way, uh, especially when it comes to becoming successful, uh, wealthy, able to leave something for the next generation because those things are important because you don't want to just uh, spend, spend, spend all your wealth while you're here on this planet and then leave nothing for your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren and on and on, right? That's the mindset you want to acquire. You want to have that in the back of your mind while you're doing what you're doing, right? When you're creating your wealth, your uh, brands and your success, you can't take any of that with you but you can't leave it for the next generation, right? And that's hopefully what you get from this video today, is that the reason I created these videos was to leave something for my next generation. Now, this wasn't available for me to go and say, well, you know what, that was my uncle, or that was my grandfather, or that was my brother, right? No, but 
that's what I'm leaving. I'm leaving a legacy, not only for my family and my lineage, but for people who follow my stuff, right? Because it's not only my people that I can help. It's not only my people that I do help, right? But it is important that I give back. I reach back and I help as many people as I can, especially now that I understand the process. You don't have to actually be a, a what you would consider a success or a multi-millionaire because people follow you. People watch you. Even the people who are working side by side with you, right? And you may know where they are in life. You, know, may, you may know they're not really doing very well, but they're watching just like you. You're watching. And your decisions going forward are based on the people you surround yourself with. And if you surround yourself with a certain type of people, and you know the type of people I'm talking about, that's probably how you will end up, right? Think about this. Any, with any growth, you have to be around positiveness, right? If you're around negativity, you're not going to grow because that's not what uh, births growth. It's not, it's not what birth growth is successful mind, powerful mindset. And you have to be able to make adjustments within yourself because the one thing that holds us back in life is us. Nobody else. It's us. So if you're not confident in you and you surround yourself with people who aren't confident in themselves, but they go through life, you know, talking about people, uh, taking from people, not helping when they can be helping, then that's the mindset and the uh, habits that you will acquire because birds of a feather, right? All right, so I'm not going to take a long time on these videos. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I'm videoed out, if you will. <laughs> I'm, I had a good time doing it, but I, what I wanted to do this week was pretty much uh, just kind of... Uh, close it out, right? Not necessarily with notes, not necessarily with uh, affirmations, but with kind of more of a who I am and what I do and why I do what I do and let you kind of get a last look, if you will, not literally, but, you know, and for this process of, you know, who it was that created these 200 videos and the, get an understanding of, you know, I'm just a regular person like you. I mean, you know, my my dreams and my aspirations are there just like yours are but i'm someone who chose to take action on the things that i dream about and the things that i learn and not only for myself but to help you guys and to help the next person that views this video or uh, crosses paths with me right okay so having said that Remember, remember, my new blog is speakwithlarry.blog, my uh, website, which I just restructured my website uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's called speakwithlarry.com. Go to there and, uh, you know, check it out. If you want to contact me about, you know, doing some consulting work, uh, doing some speaking, all that type of good stuff, that's where you go. <laughs> but see, the, I really want you to understand how... how natural this is, how natural this will become for you. Because we live in a we live in a time now where you create your creativity can come out. And it can come out not in front of an audience necessarily, but just in front of you and the camera. Right? You, you just talk. And as you get comfortable doing what you do and put it in places where people can see it people will get an opportunity to experience you. They, they will know who you are. And one of the things about spirits is that spirits resonate. So what I'm saying, if what I'm saying touches you on a different level, where you, you, feel, you feel like this, well, you know what, I think I can trust this guy. I mean, you know, I'm not spending a whole lot of money, but uh, what I'm spending is my time learning from this guy right gaining information so I'll watch a few more videos you know and that's all I ask and if you like some of the videos like them if you want to share them share them because you know people I know people right you watch videos and you say what well, I gotta share this video I really like that that was really funny or that was really educational or that was a really good quote right all those things that you know kind of touch us we know can touch other people too because have you ever been in a place where, I don't know how much you've traveled, but there are some beautiful places in this world. 
And I've gone to some places where I often say, wow, I wish so-and-so was here to see this, this visual that I'm experiencing right now, right? Because it's beautiful. Some things are beautiful. And you want other people to experience that, but a lot of times they can't. So when you get the opportunity to be the bearer of good news or the share of great experiences, you want to do that, right? And you can, and you do. But just be conscious that you're doing that. And as you're conscious, it makes a shift in how you react to it, right? And how others will react to it. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to stop right now with this video number one of this week. Actually, I believe this is video number 196 of my 200 videos. And uh, with that, that means I only have four videos to create, to complete this 200 video process. Who's the man? <laughs> All right, speak with Larry. That blog.